Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we are going to see how we can map any logs that are getting generated inside our EC2 instance to CloudWatch. And we will make sure that we are using the best practices and the least privileged principles. So only the right permissions are given to the particular EC2 instance. Okay. Currently, I have configured a Node.js my SQL application on my EC2 instance and it's running fine okay as you can see if I try to enter any uh, number here okay so for example I'm logging in with this user okay okay it's successfully added and you can see the logs are generated here as well so these are live logs that are being added here so what we want that these logs should be available in CloudWatch AWS CloudWatch instead of me logging in every time and trying to check these logs these logs should be available in cloudwatch okay so let's see how we can do this okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to install the cloudwatch agent inside this ec2 instance okay? let's do this first So I have already copied and tested these commands. These works fine. We need to install the CloudWatch agent and it will be a dev file because I'm using a Ubuntu OS. So for that, we use the Debian version. So guys, uh, you need to copy this. Just paste it here. And I have already uh, like created this file. I want you guys to give this a different name because I already was using this one. So I will name it something like app one out, right? And same I do for this one, app one. Okay, and the rest of the things will be same. You can just press Control X, Y, and Enter. Okay. So the next app is going to be add the ec2 role for this ec2 instance okay uh, i am role role for this ec2 instance so i will click click on create role i will choose the ec2 instance this depends upon for which service i want to give this role let's go for server first yes this one is the first one and we also need the ssm role okay so uh, this instance one okay. so we can just click on next and i will name it ec2 cloud watch 222 okay let's create this role i had already assigned a one of the roles for my ec2 instance i only need to modify this one select this one click on actions security and modify it yeah. okay and now i will give it ec2 cloud watch 222 okay so these this role has the right permissions for it okay now we need to run the remaining commands. So, like this part is also done. We need to run this command. Just copy it and I will paste it. It's done. Then I will enable, or I can, I, I want to restart this because I have had already this running. So, just go here and restart and i need to remove this so okay great now i will enable this one also so, and we need to confirm that there are uh, like no errors so we can check the status also right there are no errors working fine so now let's go to pm2 logs right we can see the live logs now what we will do is we will go to cloudwatch right then we need to click on log groups and we will have app one configured here but like we don't see it why why it's not there right it could take some time for it to refill it or one more thing that we can do is we can trigger it I will name here any number. Okay, so this should have added this, and maybe this one also, maybe this one, and I should have some logs here. 
yes like we have three four logs right so now let's go back to cloud watch again i will reload this and you guys can see app one out is here okay and inside this this is my ec2 instance id okay you can check from here let me create a duplicate for this one okay so you guys can uh so you guys can see that it's ending with 381 fe and the same for this one so this is the right ec2 instance id and you can see the number that we added it's live okay if you want to check the live logs as we were checking in pm2 you can just click on start tailing and it will show you the live logs it will not fetch the old ones but it will show you the lives okay let's click on this one click create another let's wait for okay so as you can see this is showing us the live logs okay so uh that's all for, for this video guys if you have any queries any questions related to this please drop a comment down below and i will be happy to help you with this